refute the doubts of these people, even though their doubts are weak. So when people ask, why is it that we find British-born citizens blowing up themselves? Then the answer is, because you allowed Umar Bakri to preach in the university for the last 10 years. And other individuals who are like him. Yes, Alhamdulillah you prevented Umar Bakri from entering this country. This is a good thing, but it's too late. 10 years too late. Because the seed has already been planted. And what will you do with the British Umar Bakri? Or the British born Abu Qatada? How will you deal with them? Because now the ideology has started to spread. Amongst ignorant imbeciles who glorify that which took place in London and that which took place in America on 9-11. So then, Shabidi said, responding to Ibn Muljam about, when Ibn Muljam suggested the killing of Ali, he said, Sakulatka ummak. May your mother be bereaved of you. Indeed, Shabib said to him, you've come with a terrible thing. You've come with a terrible thing. How can you kill Ali? How can you? Kill Ali. And this individual Shabib, he found it difficult to approach and try to kill Ali because he recognized Ali was a relative of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He was a companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ali had many fawail virtues which were known to all of the Muslims. So he said, really, I don't find myself comfortable with attempting to kill Ali. If it was only somebody else. But again, like the khawarij of today, the khawarij of the past, they will not suffice with that. They will try and convince you. Again, using emotions, not knowledge. Using emotions. That's why when people say Palestine, Iraq, and Afghanistan, are the causes for that which happened in London, they're talking rubbish. Why? Because the ideology was there. It's like a fire that is burning. The flame never went out. Yes, these incidents and the innocent killing of people in, Af uh, uh, in Afghanistan, the innocent Muslims there, and the innocent Muslims in Iraq, it was used as propaganda. But it wasn't the cause. Because the bombings in Saudi Arabia was way before that. It was way before 9-11 and it was way before the 7th of the 7th. So the ideology has always been burning. The ideology. But these things were used like firewood. So then the story, it continues that when this man, Shabib, was a bit apprehensive to try and kill Ali because he recognized who Ali was and the virtues that he possessed, Ibn Muslim said, reminding him about the killing of the people in Nahrawan, about the people who died in Nahrawan, meaning the Khawarij, again trying to arouse his emotions. So the end of the story is that this individual agreed. Yes, okay, let's go. Let us try and kill Ali. Let us go and try and kill Ali. So they set out for the attack. They set out for the attack. And again, summarizing in, pra in places. So Ibn Muljam and Shabib, they went to attack Ali. When did they choose to attack him? When did they choose to attack Ali? Radiallahu ta'ala anhu. They waited for the Fajr prayer. When Ali was calling people to the prayer, they waited until that point to attack him. So the story, it continues. So it said, they went and they were carrying their swords. And they were sitting, waiting for Ali to leave. 
فلما خرج when Ali left and he was waking the people from sleep so they may go and pray Fajr then they pounced upon him Ali was saying As-salatu, as-salatu Ali was calling the people to pray the Amir al-Mu'mineen radiallahu ta'ala an calling people to good so they pounced upon him فَثَارَ إِلَيْهِ شَبِيب بِالسَّيْفِ فَضَرَبَهُ فَوَقَعَ فِي الطَّاقِ فَضَرَبَهُ إِبْنُ مُلْجَمْ بِالسَّيْفِ عَلَى قَرْنِهِ The shahid is, they both tried to strike him and Ibn Muljam hit Ali on the front of his forehead. Ibn Muljam, he hit Ali on the front of his forehead. What did Ibn Muljam say when he struck Ali? Anyone know? Huh? Anybody know? He said, لا حكم إلا لله ليس لك وليس لأصحابك He said like the Khawarij today Ibn Muldan was striking Ali this noble companion relative of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described Ali to be an individual who loved Allah and Allah loved him he struck him on his forehead he said, there is no judgment except for Allah. Not for you, Ali, and not for your companions. And that's what the Khawarij use to make takfir upon the Muslim rulers. The exact same doubt. So if this is not sufficient for anyone with two years to understand and recognize that the Khawarij of Al-Qaeda and the other groups today are the same as the Khawarij that killed Ali ibn Abi Talib, in terms of their ideology. In terms of their ideology. Then, so, فَسَالَ دَمُوا عَلَى لِحْيَتِهِ رضي الله تعالى عن Ali, his blood came down upon his beard, pouring upon his beard. And likewise, Ibn Muljam, as Ibn Kathir, he mentions, وَجَعَلَ يَتْلُ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى When striking Ali, he read a verse. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْرِ نَفْسَهُ And from the people you have those who sell themselves إِبْتِغَاءَ مَرْضَاتِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ رَؤُوفٌ بِالْعِبَادِ You have from the people those who sell themselves seeking the pleasure of Allah and Allah is full of kindness for His servants. Look, same Al-Qaeda of today, they believe that blowing up themselves and killing innocent people in America or in Britain, or in Saudi Arabia, or in Egypt, or in Yemen, or in, or in Palestine, or anywhere else in the world, the Khawarij of today, Al-Qaeda, and those like them, they believe that they're obtaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why the Khawa- that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about them, that in adraktuhum, if I was to meet them, the Khawarij, then I would have killed them with the killing of Ad, meaning destroyed them in totality, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed Ad. And again, this is for the Muslim rulers. And not for anyone to take this upon and understand this text uh, the way that they desire. So then, Ali screamed out. After Ali was hit on his forehead, Nada Ali radiallahu ta'ala an alaykum bihi, catch him, catch him. And Ibn Muljam, he fled. And wallahi, the story, it gets worse. The story it get, gets worse, it doesn't get better. To see the extremism, and see the evilness, and even likewise you can say the dedication upon bid'ah innovation, and how much they were willing to sacrifice and give up for their false cause, and for the spilling of innocent blood, and blood which is inviolable. Ibn Kathir, in Bid'ah wa Nihaya, from the beginning to the end, again, which is a book about the history of Islam from the beginning to the end, he mentions the way after they caught Ibn Majjam, how he was killed. Wallahi, this story, subhanallah al May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us, all of us on this earth from the evil of the Khawarij. When they caught him, Ibn Kathiri mentions Qila. When they caught him, when they caught Ibn Muljam, it is said 
that 